So yesterday was the first day that college coaches can get on the road and recruit, make in-home visits, just see players in person. That's big news. It's always a fun point in the offseason because you get a very legitimate look at who schools are prioritizing, who schools think they have a good chance at. Every team has like 20 targets, but every team's not visiting 20 targets the first day that you can visit. You go in home to see the guys you think you have a chance at getting and guys you want to get more than anybody else in your class. Well, that leads us to our Latter-day Saints card. Guess what BYU did yesterday? Hmm. I'm going to guess at the crack of dawn as the as the sun arose over the Provo Mountains or wherever they're at in Utah, wherever Agent DeBance is at in Utah, they found themselves front and center, full staff, welcoming AJ to his first last day of high school. <laughs> it's pretty accurate. Uh, not only did they do that, but they also landed – an international commit. We have another video on that on the channel. So BYU is all over the world right now. They're, they've gone global. We know this. But yeah, so Kevin Young and three assistants. They sent the entire staff to see A.J. DeBancy yesterday. There are other schools that also went to see A.J. DeBancy yesterday. As far as I know, none of them sent the entire staff the way that BYU did. In fact, Kansas sent one assistant. BYU sent the head coach and three assistants. I think that tells you how they feel about their chances in the AJ DeBansa recruitment. Uh, is this meaningful to you at all? Do you like this move from BYU to seemingly push all their chips in the AJ DeBansa basket? Yeah, I, I love this move because I, I think it is very, it, it not very, it is extraordinarily rare at least given the history of BYU, that they would even at this point of recruitment be in for a player of AJ advances caliber. And the fact that he kind of cracked the door open, that it could happen. You got to go full court press. All you can do, honestly, not sure BYU staff's doing enough to be honest with you. Uh, there should be a staff member. That's an academic advisor at Utah prep. Uh, there should be somebody possibly driving AJ advance to school. If he doesn't have a ride. Uh, I think if there's a walk on on the team who's maybe taking some online classes at this point in a non creepy way, just hang around the high school, make sure AJ's OK, having a good day, everything like that. I think you need to put on the full court press. And that's what BYU is doing, especially given that, you know, he's basically in their backyard. My apologies to the, the Utahians of this podcast. I don't know how far Provo is from where Utah prep is, but I'm assuming it's close enough. Damn it. Yeah. It's close enough. It's close enough. I I like this move too. Uh, just for the buzz around it. Number one. The, wait, no, hold on a second. Yeah. We we record a lot of podcasts. All right. Uh -huh. I I might be a bad PhD member, but uh -huh. damn it, I can pick up on your social cues. That wasn't a oh I love this. Was it was like yeah I love this. Yeah so, I love uh, it. Go, spill the beans. Yeah I love go it. Ahead. No I go love ahead. it. I love it. Ah, I love it. Um, yeah, I love it. Your BYU and AJ DeBance is listing you. Yes, you should probably spend maximum effort on that. Um, how do I put this? Who would you say has more experience going after high stakes, NBA ready, bag chasing drama queens? Is it Kevin Young in BYU or is it Bill Self in Kansas? Bill Self. Probably Bill Self. He's been around the block. He's had quite a few of those from his time, right? Mm -hmm. Bill Self said, yeah, I'll probably just send one assistant to this one. BYU said, we're going to spend all our time on this one. It's a, it's a move. It's a risky move, but it's a move. BYU is going to be, uh, spoiler alert, BYU is going to be fine if they don't get A.J. DeBanza. Like, there, there's enough positive momentum with the program. Things are going to be fine. It's a high-risk move to be this direct on, like, we're getting A.J. DeBanza, and that's that's where we're focusing all our attention. I don't, like, like this is a guy whose dad is driving his recruitment because he likes the Wu-Tang Clan, and that's why he's visiting Kansas State. So, like, you may do everything right in this recruitment 
to the point where you feel you should get AJ DeBanza, and then he'll wake up on a Tuesday and his dad will be like, we're actually going to go play on the moon for a year. Like it just, it, we have no idea how it's going to work. Um, I, I just would be careful is all I'm saying. Like, I think the, the fact that we're talking about it, like, Oh, BYU said everyone they're in it. That's good news for BYU until you're out of it. Because then the narrative flips very quickly from they're going for it to, well, shit, BYU went for it and came away empty handed. Kevin Young hasn't missed this off season, right? He has not missed. But if this is the first miss, I think the dialogue gets real different on like, was it a mistake to go all in on AJ DeBanson? Okay, two things here. Um, I like your point about the Kansas and the BYU thing. Um, maybe it's BYU staff acting like they haven't been there before. A little bit of experience play for Kansas. But one of my favorite phrases is, my coach used to say, Carter, act like you've been there before. And there was one time where I was like, coach, I haven't been there before. That's why I'm acting like this. All right? So, like, you just – they're acting like this because it is a little bit new. Like, this is – you know what I'm saying? They don't know how to approach this. So, like, there's no need to play, like, the coy. I don't, you know, I don't know. Just, just send the full stat. Also, I'm going to speak as as an honorary Lauderdale Saint. We're BYU, all right? So, we send the full stat out to see AJ. And later that day, we got full stat to see Caleb Wilson. Okay? We're fine. We're everywhere. The jet is fueled. We're all over the country. This does beg the question, do they have two full staffs? How did they do that? This begs the question, why are staffs not more full? A fair point. Like, I, if if I'm recruiting 10 players, I want two staff members per player. I'm getting everyone. I'm, you know, I'm extending. Aren't there seats behind the bench? Yeah. Explain, explain that, Penny Hardaway. Penny, Penny Hardaway sent full staff to see a recruit today. It was just Penny Hardaway. <laughs> Football season is here. Money is out there to be had in the form of winning bets. And our friends at my book, you want to make it easy for you to do just that. Yeah, and coming into football season, you're going to have games all weekend happening everywhere. And Gregory, where is the only place that Sleepers Media places all bets? I can tell you right now, since last February, February 1st to be exact, my bookie is the only place that I have placed a sports bet. I love my bookie. They make it easy. They get you quick payouts. They have awesome promo offers. In fact, card, they've got one right now that football fans everywhere and listeners of this show are going to want to take advantage of. Yeah, using promo code sleepers, that's promo code sleepers, you can take advantage of a 50% instant deposit bonus right now. That's 50% instant deposit bonus up to a thousand dollars over at my bookie use promo code sleepers and happy betting home dogs aren't dogs they're wolves Arr i'm trying to flip that into like sport like home sports books aren't books they're novels we'll work on it that didn't work go my bookie promo code sleepers